Friday evening. It's that time. We got ourselves a glass, and not just any glass they hold. Daddy, it was not a dear daddy cool glass that the girls bought me. And then we got a John Smith's Monday Legends. You will be proud. We got John Smith's. The John Smith's is out now. It's Friday evening. I'm having a drinky poos. Hopefully everybody else is chilling this evening. Some of you will have a drink. Some of you won't. Whatever you're doing, just enjoy it and enjoy the weekend. And I was in the sauna earlier on. I was in the sauna and I was speaking to a remarkable young man. Yes, a remarkable young man. Wasn't very busy in it tonight. It was quite uh, quite quiet, to be fair. And <clears throat> that's better. <clears throat> There's a gentleman in there, and I was talking to him. And it turns out because he told me his age, he was 32 years old. And even though I don't know him, I'm very proud of him. And he knows nothing about me. He doesn't know about TikTok. We didn't discuss TikTok. I didn't discuss my presence on social media. I didn't discuss anything like that. I was on a general chit chat with him, and everything happens for a reason. And we were sat there and just come up with conversation and he was on about how he's like, I haven't spoke to his family for a while, how uh, he stopped drinking, how he had a little bit of a problem with drink and he nearly lost his wife and his children over it because he's a lorry driver. He had a few mental issues going on within his own head and his family wasn't supporting him. His family were quite negative towards it. But like I explained to him, family can be more toxic than anything. So he dis connected from his family but he also disconnected from friends because friends around him so-called friends they weren't understanding they were making his whole situation worse but why i'm proud of him because he identified he had a problem because all this negative energy around him was putting him down a darker hole and he was going deeper and deeper when he had the negative response of his family and friends he turned to drink and then he openly said it went from there then and he went to cannabis as well as drink and then he identified that I can't do this no more. This is wrong. What am I doing? I'm going to lose everything around me. So he decided to make the conscious decision uh, four years ago. Four years ago, he said. So, you know, he was, well, he would have been 28 then, 28, 28 years old, that I have to do something about this. So he decided then to cut away the negative energy around him with family friends which weren't serving any purpose and he put himself into training stepped away from the alcohol stepped away from smoking you know the illegal illegal substances that he shouldn't have been smoking anyway he stepped away from all that and he turned his life around and his wife stood by him and she sounds amazing and i turn around to him and you know i said good on you you're, you're 32 years old you've you've done all this you've identified the problem and he said I've not touched alcohol since, or am I ever going to touch alcohol? And I went, do you know what? Being so young and identifying those issues that you're going through, I said, that is quite remarkable. And I said, you should be proud of yourself. And he said, I am. And that was really good. So it was good. And then I was just saying to him, because he was on about, oh, you know, he'd like to move abroad. He'd like to do this and that with the family. And I said, do it. And I was saying to him, like, you know, believe in yourself, believe you can do anything. And uh, we had a good chat and, it was such a pleasure to come across him and say everything happens for a reason so he was obviously meant to sit there and talk to me tonight and I was meant to talk to him and you know maybe I'll never see him again who knows but he's definitely got his life in order I'm proud of him and I don't even know him from Adam but what a remarkable young guy so it goes it goes to show that if you stay away from that negative energy you stay whether it's family or friends and you identify what is holding you back in life you can start growing and you can start moving quicker forward than you ever thought anyway everybody have a fantastic evening